Look at the top right corner. Great Demand Spinnery, right as I was ending last episode. So, we need to get rid of some wool. You know what? It might not be wool. Wouldn't that be bad if it was cotton? Alright, where's the thingy? There it is. And sell. Wow. $2,000? Alright, well. That's $2,000 we didn't have. I forgot my introductions. Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 29. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons please. Thank you. Okay, was I supposed to do something else in the town there? Oh. Binary. Well, there's a great demand for, for uh, silage. You don't sell silage at the spinnery, do you? I thought you sold that at the barn. Okay, now I see wool. Was it there all the time? I just didn't look down? So, there we have two great demands at the present time. Um, 980. Hard economy. 980 for cotton. That is a terrible price. Hard economy. I have seen it up into the 16s. I'm pretty sure. Let me check what medium normally is. Cotton. Cotton medium is 29, so that is a terrible price. That's a, actually that's an insulting price right there. Silage at 188. Uh, is respectable. I've seen it at 213. So, okay, I'm all flustered now because that happened. Um, we need to, need to work on some trees. Actually, what I need to do is, we don't have a baler. I should take advantage of that high price for the silage. Let's see how the grass is in the grass field. Oh yeah, it is on the highest possible
growth stage. Oh, guess what? We could sell that planter as well. I didn't notice him sitting back there. We can sell this planter and take the seed out of it. And we will also sell the stump grinder. Well, I might hang on to that one. I'm going to hang on to that one for a little bit. And I'm going to wait to sell this. Don't open it up. Unhook it. Whoops. And I shrunk my grass field, so I'm not going to get as much silage. Whoops. I really didn't want to have a worker do this one this time. I was going to do it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I knew that was going to be in my way. Here, let's just push it. I knew I was going to miss a little bit. That's why I normally hire a worker to do this, because I'm always missing stuff. Hey, why is it letting me mow the other across the road? Now it probably won't let me pick it up. No. I want to lower it down. Oh, this is the one that won't do that. Oh, I gotta have it highlighted. No, still won't do it. All right, enough playing around with that. All right, I am going to sell the cedar. And... The cultivator.
And we'll see if we can't get a hold of something to make silage bales. Ten thousand dollars. Two and a half. Well, that gave us a little monetary boost there. All right, we need bailing technology. Buy a round baler for forty nine thousand and is the cheap wrapper eight thousand forty nine and eight is just out of reach. Darn it. Well, I think I want to buy that because I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, oh, uh, they're both pull behind items, so I'm going to buy one of them right now. Let's buy the roll belt. I don't like this one, it has such a narrow pickup. Um, is there another round baler of a different persuasion? Fifty six. That's a round baler. I think. Um, and it's a little bit less. Well, we need to give it a try. It's not the same. It looks physically different. So, all right, we're going to try it. Oh, it was 56. Oh, oh man. I thought it was less. I thought this one was 59. Well... Same as that one. How come I can see belts in the air? I can see belts in the air on both of them. 56. Now I've got to come up with $8,000. How am I going to come up with $8,000? sell a tree
Well, we'll just have to give this one a try and see if it uh, picks up better than the yellow one. If I'm paying more for it, it better. I should have bought the coon. It was red. Let's see if it picks everything up. Seems to be. It's still one you gotta back up and unload though. Oh, it's quicker though. It's snappier. Um, what's up? Did I raise that? I might have raised that by mistake. Back up. Triangle. Triangle. Too quick. And yeah, I hit it by mistake because it's working now. Okay, I like the pickup on this one. It costs a little bit more, but guess what? You get what you pay for. It has a wider pickup. But yeah, I should have brought the coon, bought the coon cuz it was red. Darn it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm missing. That upsets me. Oh, short wheelbase. How I love you. Not. Well, I guess I could do a couple trees. Let me get that one, but I don't think I'm going to get this curved one across the road. We'll skirt the edge of it. Uh, ooh! I snuck part of it. Let's see if we can get the rest of it. Ah, darn it. Ah, trying to fishtail around it. Come on, give it to me. Not going to do it. I'm not fighting it. I wonder how much I would get for the stump grinder. Whoops, forgot to put it down.
I don't see any more that I missed. We'll top this one off with a little bit of straw later. So, I wonder how much I can get for this. It's only 3,000. I said I needed 8, didn't I? It says no plowing or fertilizing necessary. We'll put it to the test. bunch of money for us. So I'm going to hang on to the stump grinder. And I don't know why I hit that one. Bailing technology. We were going to get the wrapper clear in the back, I believe. Eight thousand two hundred. Was there a wrapper right here? Oh, that one does square and round. Yeah, I'm sitting there looking at the big baler. But it's not really a big baler. It's still 4,000. Alright, we're going to get this wrapper. Ooh, let's back up because we want to change the foil color. Don't buy two of them. Okay, now we're set up. Every time we can get a good price, we can sell silage bales. We can make them without having to uh, lease. Plus, I just like owning my own equipment. Yeah, this tractor's not going to be able to do that because he's got two wide tires. I can't get up alongside of it. I'll be able to get right up close to him with these skinnies on. Whoops, I need to back up to it anyway. Oh, you know what? The only bad thing is this is going to tip them over on their end. Oh, man. That 
I don't want them on their end. I want them laying just like this. Well, I guess I remember the last time we leased the baler wrapper. But that was 155, I believe. We'll just have to ask them if they're going to yell at us if we stab them. Unless I can come up with a way to knock them over. I guess I'm going to stab them with the bale spike anyway. It doesn't matter if I... Yeah, same difference. Never mind. I think we still might have straw on the trailer. Straw is 36 and falling. Son of a gun. Yeah, that's a terrible price for straw. Okay, that's all of them. I guess I shouldn't have put that away. We've got one more bale in here. Oh, you can't raise it while there's something in it. Oh, I didn't have it highlighted. You might have been able to raise it. 
Alright, well, now I gotta go get the other thing back out again. The wrapper. I don't know if I could get it any more crowded right here. Whoa, that was the wrong way. I didn't want it right in the center. I like it. Took me a little while to do that, but all right. Now let's see if I can do these pink marshmallows. Okay, there's a load, and that went fairly uneventful. I like uneventful. 
And I think I might have gotten half of them. I hope. So I could do it in two loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. Oh, yeah. Way more than half in there. Drop it on the fly. Stay in there, boys. One thought about leaving. Alright. I hope the price is still up. Yeah, it's still there. And I still got straw bales. Oh, I didn't realize I had... Did I lease that straw wagon? I did. I kept that overnight. Oh, darn it. That's why I don't like to lease things. I always forget to turn them in. We're going for uneventful this time because I didn't bring a bale spike to lift these up to rescue them. I guess I could get them on the next load, but... And it's here, or is it the one, the big red barn? Yeah, this is the spinnery, isn't it? Yep, that's right. I drive behind the spinnery to get to the red barn. Come on. Seven, four, eight, one. Huh. There it goes. So 9,600 for that load. I guess I won't retire on that. I think I need to start thinking about getting that mini BGA. That would give us a constant place to sell silage and we could start building up some fertilizer for these fields that are getting bigger I do like the sight of that coming around the corner you can see the pig pig area pig pen and then the sheep 
Not to mention that big, black, beautiful field with no problems whatsoever. Let's see, if I did this on an incline, would that roll them all back to the one side and help me load it? We're gonna go with that idea. I don't know if they're gonna roll or not. When you don't want them to roll, they roll. When you do want them to roll, they don't. You know. You know how it is. Nah, I kind of missed on that one, didn't I? Well, they're still lined up right. Just about flipped that one off. Well, none of them are old, but they sure plopped in the right spot. Come on, stay on there. We got four left. Put this one clear at the back. Like a glove. Tore the wrapper on that one, didn't I? Oops, stay on there. Too bad this thing wasn't just a little bit wider. We could put two rows of them in here. And I also remember the last time I did bales, I had mowed three mowings and left them in the field and then baled it all at once. So we had a lot of bales. But that is about the neatest stack I have ever done. Look at that. All nested up against one side. I wonder if there's a wider, wider wagon out there. And I don't care if they move. Price still there? Shortcut time. I wonder if we can go buy at full speed if it'll sell. Hey, it did. Just barely. $6,000. Well, that was a few things that I had not planned on doing. But at the end of the last episode, when I saw that great demand come up, I figured we might as well mow. But it's time to go back and cut some trees down. Because we're going to need some money to get a sugar beet harvester. And I don't buy those big uh, powered ones. I buy the trailered one. That's plenty fine for me. That's going to bring us to the end of this episode. I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.